Hey guys, Marcus here. It's a beautiful day for music. It's a wonderful day for sound. Come on and learn this lick with me. So I have two fivelets right here from the beginning of the measure. I love, absolutely love odd time signatures. I absolutely love odd uh, groupings of rhythms. So this is exactly what we have here. My actual sticking without the doubled articulation is gonna be right, and then the rest of them are gonna be left hand. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, one. Now, when I'm gonna do this, I'm not gonna necessarily play these as what I call stagnant or concrete accents. So that means my accent to tap is not gonna be one, two, three, four, five, one. There's gonna be somewhat of a flowing nature to the, the meat of the pattern or the base of the pattern. Be very specific with keeping it nice and moving and nice and flowing. And I will add a little bit of, of weight and a little bit of chunkiness to that first, to the first two notes, almost as if it's kind of like a, a weightless kind of arm. Some people call it dead weight. So that's what I'm thinking about here. One, two, three, four, five, one. One, two, three, four, five, one. One, two, three, four, five, one. And when I'm doing that, I'm very specific. When I turn my wrist and I have that nice, relaxed, uh, heavy arm, I'm very specific with making sure that I'm not squeezing my chamber, I'm not squeezing my fulcrum, I'm letting my wrist handle the rest of those little notes there, but a lot of that's gonna be handled by the rebound and my wrist is just controlling it. One, two, three, four, five, one. Let's do that a few times. Two, ready, and one, two, three, four, five, one. One, two, three, four, five, one, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, one, yo. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, one. One, two, three, four, five, one. Let's add the diddle. Uh. One more time. Cool. Now, the next beat, notice I start on a left-handed double, so a left-handed diddle, because that's where we just end it. And then the rest of the notes are going to be on my right hand as far as the next three notes here. So one, two, three, four. Last note happens on my left hand, five here. For right now, notice that the notation indicates that there's a back stick on there. I'm gonna do the stick twirl and the back stick after I get these two counts um, nice and sort of smooth and, and, and sort of jam in here. So let's just take the sticking by itself without the doubled articulation and without any of the actual stick tricks. So I have this one, two, three, four, five, one. One, two, three, four, five, one. One, two, three, four, left, right. One, two, three, four, five, one. 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 And it does end on an accent. Two, ready, and. One, two, three, four, five, one. My bad. One, two, three, four, five, one. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, one. 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 Oh. One, two, three, four, five, one. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, one. Da, 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 da. Add the diddle this time. Da, 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 da. Two, ready, and. My bad. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Hey. Da, 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 da. One more time. Da, 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 da. Cool. We're going to take that back now and put in both of those counts. So, I'll go ahead and, and tell you a little bit of what's going to get a lot of people. That left hand double is, is a, a little bit of a shift in your fulcrum coming out of that wrist motion into that little bit of a, of a fulcrum squeeze here coming from that thumb aided by that, that first finger, the index finger, to get that double coming after, coming after the actual single strokes here. So be super aware of that. We want that to, set, to have the same tonal qualities as the notes that preceded it, right? So nice and slow. Two, ready, and two, ready, and two, ready, and two, ready, two, ready, two, One more time. We'll do it again. Ready, and cool. Now, with that, on the first of the fivelets, I have just a regular pancake toss. And a lot of times when I do a pancake, I'm gonna really try to keep this part 
of my arm sort of still, my actual elbow and wherever it's kind of hanging, right? Notice I say hanging because I really don't want a whole lot of tension. I don't really feel, I don't want to feel like I'm sort of holding it in the air. I want to feel that like everything's sort of hanging down all the way from the top of my head. And it's like some sort of string that's just kind of holding this up. Not necessarily um, my neck or my shoulder holding it up and things. So I want to keep my hanging arm in a nice similar position here. And, I, and I'm using my fingers to kick out so the butt of the stick is coming towards me and I'm letting my fingers sort of loose here as it's going around. And then it's coming back in as the butt of the stick comes out towards the actual audience and then back in towards me here. So that's what's happening with my pancake sort of spin. Some people call it a tabletop spin. Some I've heard people call it the dinner plate. I've heard a whole lot of different things. Let me know what you guys call it down in the comments. And then on the other side, I just have a regular back stick that comes across. And all I'm doing from my actual traditional grip here is I'm re-gripping it. So I'm moving this thumb over and across and I'm, and I'm gripping it in sort of a very relaxed version of a match grip. Some people would kind of refer to this as a three-point grip because you notice that I have my thumb and then there's a separation here and my first finger's kind of spread out and things. It doesn't have to be that. You can close it all the way up, and some people really do prefer that, especially if you're going to be playing in that particular position. But you'll notice when I actually turn my hand over, this finger is extended for me, uh, and that just allows me a little bit of a quicker time to reset it back to my actual traditional grip. So we're going to add both of those nice and slow. Yeah, one, two, ready, and. You got it. Ready? And One more time. Cool. Now, what's happening next, this is really, really easy. I just have a paradiddle diddle ending on the upbeat of the next count. So, one e and the two e and. One e and the two e and. Again. One e and the two e and. Uh uh. One e and the two e and. Yeah, yeah. One e and the two e and. Uh uh. Da 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 da. Mm mm. Da 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 da. And I'm really trying to make sure that that first right, uh, the first left hand, da da, is really giving me a nice precedent, and I'm setting that that lower volume up. So the rest of my actual diddles, da 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 da, para diddle diddle, to make sure that all of those have the nice, the, the same actual beautiful quality that the rest of them had coming before. So I'm going to be very specific with setting up the precedent with that left hand and where this is hitting, and then where the right right left left is hitting after that. We'll try it a few more times. Two, ready, and. Again. Again. You got it. One more time. Cool. Now, coming out of that, I have just another left hand and I release on a flam. So, flam. Again. Again. And that actual flam can be something more like a mezzo piano. It doesn't have to be all the way piano because as, if, if you notice, if you kind of look ahead here, the flam is going to end up being um, some hand to hand kind of floppy motion flams. So that can be nice and relaxed when I, when I actually play the downbeat here. It doesn't have to be piano or sort of as low as possible. Let's try it a few more times. Two, ready, and. Cool. Now, I'm going to back that up and start from the five lit. So I have ticket at the ticket at 
two, ready, and. Slam, two, ready, and. Moving on. Starting on the next beat here, I just have one count of triplets, triplet uh, and then that's starting on that right hand flam, triplet uh. What I'm gonna be very aware of here when I'm playing something like this is I want my hands to be as relaxed as possible, and I want them just to, to feel as like all of my little arm fat is jiggling. And once again, the idea of my arms just kind of hanging and then me just using my, my smaller sort of wrist motions and keeping a nice relaxed and sort of open chamber, especially for something like this, is really gonna be very important. So when I have those flams, even when I'm going slow, I'm gonna prepare to be super loose. I don't need to play it loose if I'm going this slow. Triple it, uh. I can play it very um, specific and very sort of concrete as far as my heights. But you'll notice even when I'm starting slow right now, I'm gonna be playing it sort of Loosey goosey, kind of like octopus, if that makes any sense, right? So we'll start here. Ba 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 ba, ready and bum 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 left, ready and uh, go and uh, bum 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 bum, nice and relaxed, ready and uh, go, bum 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 bum, ready and uh, go and uh, ba 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 ba, be ba ba boo ba ba bo 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 bo, be ba ba boo ba ba bo 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 bo. And I'm really trying not to have that much tension in my hand, especially when I kick back for that big accent. There's going to be that sort of inverted whipping motion, but I don't want, I want to have energy, but without the tension. Energy without the tension, very specific with that. Same thing a little bit faster. Ba, 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 ba. Two, ready, and. Ba, 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 ba. Ready, and. Ah, 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 ah. Ready, and. Ba, 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 ba. Ready, and ba 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 ba. <laughs> ba 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 ba. Hey, 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 hey. Ba 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 ba. One more time. Ba 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 ba. Cool. Let's start on the 16th notes. Taka da 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 Take it from the five lits. So, ready and cool. Moving on along here. Right on this next beat, I kind of have, if you want to go back and, and sort of look at this, it's kind of like an A, B. A ish, and I say A ish format because the original idea comes back to kind of wrap up the little bow. I presented you with an idea. There's a little bit of a middle section to show you a few different skill sets, and then I come back to that idea. It's kind of like a, a chorus or a hook of a song, right? So, what I have here is the same five lit idea, but I'm just adding a, a slight bit of more spice to it from a visual standpoint. So still keeping the first part, but the second part, I don't have the diddle, and I, and I wanted to move that out of the way as far as from a responsibility standpoint in order for us to actually do a left hand flip. Now, when I do my left hand flips here, I really wanna be sure, or at least I, I really wanna try to keep my actual flip in the, slant, in the same plane. I don't want the, the, the stick flip to go out to the front, I don't want it to come back towards me. I really want to keep it um, sort of going in the same line, right? As if there was like a wall right here. I want that to go straight up and then straight back down right here. You'll notice that I do move my hand out of the way when I, when I, when I actually do the flip here. And a lot of people have different ways that they'll actually pull their hand back or maybe even travel around with the stick. For me, I actually just move it back after I do my flip. Notice also that when I'm releasing my actual flip, there's a little bit of a, a push up with my bottom two fingers. And for me, that's what really helps me to get 
that sort of upward momentum. I'm releasing the top and I'm sort of pushing from the bottom here. And that's what's really helping me get that, that sort of upward motion and thing. So you can definitely practice that on your own just a little bit. Let's go ahead and add that in now to, let's go ahead and add that in now to the actual fivelet situation. So I have two, ready, and two, ready, two, ready, you got it, ready, two, ready, two, ready, Cool. After that, so I just stopped on my left hand that's nice and unaccented because I just caught that left hand flip. I have a right hand rim shot and then both right on the count after that. So nice and huge end off of a nice huge period end of the sentence end of the paragraph closing the book we're done drill anyway so let's add on those next two notes after that two ready and two ready and oh two ready and two ready hey two ready and Side note here, even if I kind of dribble the stick a little bit, even if there's a little bit of a mess up, notice that in my brain, the music continues along. It's like I'm singing along to the radio. It's like I'm playing to the radio or some sort of CD or DVD or whatever. Um, the, the actual sound doesn't stop up here. I continue to sort of play through it so I can recover as soon as possible. Right, right, right. Let's back that up now and let's do a few runs all the way from the beginning, I believe in you. If you like what's happening on this page, go check out my Patreon, go buy a shirt uh, and everything. Those things really do help me out. Boom, pat, on, two, ready, and. Pat, boom, it's the diddle. One, two, ready, Again, it's a beautiful day for music. It's a wonderful day for sound. Hope you guys have a nice day.